Good morning, Marmy. Welcome back to Mom Boss of Three. Thank you so much to Plan International Canada for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. I want to tell you guys all about why I'm so excited to partner with them. But before we get into all of that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tina. I'm the mom of three. The Marmy is the mom army. I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining the Marmy. So the boys are not completely ready for the day. They've changed their clothes, but we've got a lot more to do. Let's say hello. This is my youngest son, Ajit. He's almost three, a few days away from three. Go where? You wanna to go to the cottage? Oh, we're not going to the cottage right now. We just kind of came back from the cottage, okay? This is my oldest son, Jora, enjoying a little bit of screen time. This is my middle son, Kabir, also enjoying some screen time. Say hi. Kabir, say hi. Jita, say hi. <laughs> So we're kind of having an easy start to our morning. So I don't know about you guys, but if my kids miss a little bit of sleep for a couple of days consecutively, it's kind of a hot mess. So they are extremely tired today. We've had a lot of really, really fun days. So the plan for today is just to kind of stay low key at home. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I thought there would be a quiet moment to talk to you guys, but there's not. Ajith is not taking a nap, but thankfully my mother-in-law is downstairs playing with all the kids. So I thought I would come up, take a couple minutes, and talk to you guys about something really, really important. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a first-generation Canadian. My husband's also a first-generation Canadian. Both of our parents were born and raised in India. Their experience of gender equality is really different than what my husband and I experienced growing up. But there's still a lot of gender inequalities among South Asians here in Canada. So I'm only talking about experiences of those people around me. Of course, this is not a generalization across the entire board. So traditionally, a woman will move into her husband's family home and live with her in-laws and oftentimes they make a lot of important decisions for her. So of course, because she's moving into their home, they're dictating where she lives. Sometimes they're controlling finances. Sometimes they control how like their future children are raised. And I wanna share a specific example with you guys. So I have a friend who is a teacher and she teaches a number of South Asian students. These, this specific example or these few examples have to do with boys. Like they taught some South Asian boys who were having some challenges in some, some academic area. They called the parents in. The mom is the one who came. And this has happened more than once. But in this specific example, my friend, you know, explained to the mom, oh, your son is experiencing challenges in such and such area. This is what we can do to help um, bring him up to where he needs to be and more of like remedial, like this is what we'll do at school. Here's what I can get you to do at home so we can work together to bring him up to where he needs to be. And the mom started crying, saying that she can't say anything to her son because her in-laws will fight with her if she is kind of strict with the son and says, okay, we need to sit down and do your homework or sit down and work on this. But this is just an example of gender inequality I've seen in the community around me. There's also just an overall preference to have boys. Like if you're pregnant, people are celebrating having boys and they're not really all that happy if you're having a girl. And especially if it's your first baby, they want the first baby to always be a boy. And after that, it doesn't matter what you have, as long as you've got that one boy. And it's still here, it still remains even today. I see it around me all the time. And it's just an overarching belief that the man's family is more important in our community. As you guys know, this video is made in partnership with Plan International Canada, and they are working on a program called Change the Birth Story. And Change the Birth Story is working like at its core on gender equality. So across the world, millions of women and girls cannot make decisions, like critical decisions related to their healthcare. So like sexual, reproductive health, maternal health, newborn health, they can't make those decisions either because they lack the education or there are other people in their life making those decisions for them. And they don't have sometimes the funding, the transportation, the opportunity to make those really important decisions. So Plan International Canada is working in places like Bangladesh, Haiti, Ghana, just to name a few to create gender equality. So they're working with community leaders, healthcare providers, and you know the women and girls in the community, and also men and boys. And that is one of the big reasons I wanted to work with them. So not only are you working with women and girls to empower them to become leaders of change, you're also working with men and boys to transform gender norms. And that's something I've kind of talked about on my channel in the past, you know, how do I teach my 
boys to respect women? Like, how do I teach them gender equality? How do I display gender equality to the best of my ability so that they grow up with that just being the norm? Like, gender equality is just the norm. So a lot of women cannot freely decide, you know, their sexual and reproductive health. So they can't decide how many kids they want to have, whether they want to have kids, how far apart their kids should be, there is someone else in their life making those decisions for them. So in developing regions, more than 200 million women want to avoid pregnancy but are not using contraception. And the gender inequality piece of them not even being able to make that decision is at the heart of all of this. So if you agree that women and girls should be able to make their own critical healthcare decisions and that they should live a life free of discrimination. You can endorse Plan International Canada's work, changethebirthstory.ca, there's a link in the description of this video. Click it, I encourage you all to sign up. Your name has the power to change the birth story and we are all responsible for gender equality, not only here in Canada, but across the world. So I can hear my kids getting restless downstairs. We've been inside all day, so let's go check in and see what they're doing. So before we get up to actual playing, playing, I'm making the kids sit down to do some homework. I had bought these uh, like Canadian curriculum books for them to do in the summer and we've been having way too much fun to make a whole lot of progress. So we're working on a little bit today before we maybe head down to the basement to have a bit more active play. They're super tired, they don't even want to do this, but they're being so good and they're doing it. Great job, Jodi. You're learning about the animals of Canada. Kabir, what letter are you working on, Kabir? Alphabet, alphabet. But that's because the grade one book alphabet is only like a few pages. He's in SK. He's going to SK. He's working on his letters. He's doing an excellent job and so are you. Okay, let's do the next one. The beaver is the national animal of Canada. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, so what do we write here? True. Good job. P -p -p penguin. P. P. And what is this? Cow. Does that start with P or no? No. What is this? Pencil. Does that start with P? Yes. So that was like pulling teeth, getting them to do like two pages of work. They're just so tired, but they made it through and now we've got some free play happening here with Ajith. And he seems to want to eat right now. Like you were saying you want to eat something and then he has some like crackers and now I think they're ready for lunch. He needs to take a nap for sure, for sure. Mom, if I get or on, on the paper bracket and it, and it makes black on the water. Oh, on the paper? Yes, when so, you put water, and this one was, and sew something. Okay, so, so you're doing watercolor? Okay, so what do you do? Just water and then paint something, and then put water and black, and then you go up. And then it makes black. Cool, so the more paint you put on it, the more the color comes. So you only need to dip it in water once, right? For each color. So water once, and then put it in the color, yes. and then paint, right? And then you don't need to put water for a while, otherwise the paper gets really wet. Are you having fun? Yes. Good. I'm going to make a giraffe. A giraffe? Yes. Cool, I want to see it when it's done, okay? Okay. Okay, Kabir says he's almost done. What's left? So much color. So much color? There's yeah. some yellow here as well, like yellow and brown and stuff, if you want to add some color to it. But, oh, okay. It's just one color at a time, Kabir. I guess you can mix it, that's okay, but it's only going to make the darker color. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, what is it, Kabir? Tell us. A dress. It's very lovely. So it's pouring rain outside. So I brought the kids down to the basement to play. There's a whole ton of toys down here too. It's a change for being upstairs. It is? Cool. Did you see that thunder? Did you see that lightning? Did you see it? Yeah. Are we going to go out to an indoor playground You want to go to the indoor playground? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, we'll see, okay? So having overtired kids that are like really stir crazy right now in the house while it's pouring rain outside, it's not easy. But the basketball net has now fallen down because of the wind, and they find that very exciting. So let's see if we can. I think I'm gonna have to run them around circles. We need to make up some kind of game here. There's so much weight at the back, Jota says, of the basketball net, but it still fell down. 
that's how windy it is friends the rain continues we've been stuck inside all day ajith fell asleep during dinner so he ate a little bit and then he fell asleep and i think he's gonna be out for the night because he didn't take a nap okay hold on kabir kabir and i are now reading books we're very excited what book is this a book about what about animals animals so Harper's upstairs with Jorah. Jorah built some toy or something in his room. So he wanted to show him that. So I'm getting a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with videos. Me. What are you eating? Yeah. Are you eating a donut? Well. Did you show dad the track you made, Jorah? Yeah. We want to come up and see it too. Well, did you put it away or is it still out? It's still out. Okay, so no, can I we... It, I broke it apart and then I put it away. I think you're joking. I think you're joking. <laughs> Can you sh can you show us before bed? Uh -huh. So me and Kabir can see it. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. This is what you made. It works pretty good. So the kids are asleep and Harper is playing with their Halloween costumes. And what did you say just now? We missed it. Yeah, I got abs. You got. You do bad. <laughs> so Harper's abs is a Batman costume. Okay, so we are pretty much like the halfway mark of our summer, and. We've done a whole lot. I think we made really good use of the cottage and stuff like that. Like I think we did a lot of outdoor stuff. What is it that you still want to do? So Harper made like a little like chart of what we're going to do in the summer. And I think we stayed pretty on track except for last weekend. Last yeah, weekend. Yeah, we supposed to go to Center Island, right? Yeah, we didn't go to Center Island. Um, but... We're going to get you a bike or be a bike or whatever. Yeah, so that's another thing. We're doing family biking. We haven't done any family bike trips. We've done biking, but not like how we did last year, like Niagara on the lake and stuff. So hopefully we'll get to that. And also, I want to get to Tobermory. Tobermory is beautiful. Let's be fun trip. Actually, you can click the eye and you check out, um, like the last one went to Tobermory, which was like- Were you vlogging back then? Uh, yeah, I was vlogging back then. Ajith was like only a few months old. That's when we took the jump off the rock. This time you gotta jump off. I'm not gonna jump off the rock. Click the eye, you can check out that video. I'll see if we can link back to it. So it's like age, it's like two years old, right? Two years old, that Is video. Two years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would have yeah. last year. Yeah. So I'm going to call it a night. I want to thank Plan International Canada for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. There's a link in the description of this video to change the birth story.ca. Go there, sign your name, show your support because your name has the power to change the birth story. So I hope you had fun joining us today. And if you did, join us again next time. If you enjoy our vlogs and videos, subscribe to our channel and stay well. Join the Marmy. March on, Marmy. March on, Marmy.